Dear brothers and sisters, welcome to We Read Traveling with Jesus channel, a channel of Holy Gospel readings available in three languages, Indonesia, English, and Italian. Now you can access the reading in Indonesia and English separately every day and the readings in Italian available only on Sunday. We hope you enjoy it. Dear brothers and sisters, let us listen to the saint of the day, Saint Symphorian. He was born in 1641 in the city of Saint Symphorian the Ozon, then in the ancient province of the Finn, the third child of the notary Bertrand La Colombier and of Margaret Coindat. The family soon moved to the nearby city of Vienne, where he began his education before attending the Jesuit school in Lyon for his secondary studies. In 1658, at the age of 17, Colombier entered the novitiate of the Society of Jesus at Avignon. He was a Jesuit, the Sacred Heart Devotioner. Death and Veneration He died on 15 of February 1682 as a result of a severe hemorrhage. Columbia left a large number of writings, which including his principal works, Pious Reflections, Meditations on the Passion, and Retreat and Spiritual Letters. Columbia was beatified by Pope Pius XI on 16 of June 1929 and canonized by Pope John Paul II on 31st of May 1992. His relics are preserved in the Jesuit church around the corner from the convent of the Visitation Sisters at Perey Le Monial. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Holy Spirit, beloved of my soul, I adore you. Enlighten me, guide me, console me, tell me what I should do. Give me your orders. I submit myself to all that you desire of me and to accept all that you permit to happen to me. Let me only know your will. Amen. Today is Monday of the sixth week in Ordinary Time. Lectionary, the first reading. A reading from Genesis. The man had relations with his wife Eve, and she conceived and bore Cain, saying, I have produced a man with the help of the Lord. Next, she bore his brother Abel. Abel became a keeper of flocks and Cain a tiller of the soil. In the course of time, Cain brought an offering to the Lord from the fruit of the soil, while Abel, for his part, brought one of the best firstlings of his flock. The Lord looked with favor on Abel and his offering, but on Cain and his offering he did not. Cain greatly resented this and was crestfallen. So the Lord said to Cain, Why are you so resentful and crestfallen? If you do well, you can hold up your head. But if not, sin is a demon lurking at the door. His urge is toward you, yet you can be his master. Cain said to his brother Abel, Let us go out in the field. When they were in the field, Cain attacked his brother Abel and killed him. Then the Lord asked Cain, Where is your brother Abel? He answered, I do not know. Am I my brother's keeper? 
The Lord then said, What have you done? Listen, your brother's blood cries out to me from the soil. Therefore, you shall be banned from the soil that opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. If you till the soil, it shall no longer give you its produce. You shall become a restless wanderer on the earth. Cain said to the Lord, My punishment is too great to bear, since you have now banished me from the soil, and I must avoid your presence and become a restless wanderer on the earth. Anyone may kill me at sight. Not so, the Lord said to him. If anyone kills Cain, Cain shall be avenged sevenfold. So the Lord put a mark on Cain, lest anyone should kill him at sight. Adam again had relations with his wife, and she gave birth to a son whom she called Seth. God has granted me more offspring in place of Abel, she said, because Cain slew him. A Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm Over to God a sacrifice of praise. God the Lord has spoken and summoned the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. Responsorial Psalm Offer to God a sacrifice of praise. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth? Do you hate discipline and cast my words behind you? Responsorial Psalm Offer to God a sacrifice of praise. You sit speaking against your brother. Against your mother's son, you spread rumors. When do you these things, shall I be deaf to it? Or do you think that I am like yourself? I will correct you by throwing them up before your eyes. Responsorial Psalm Over to God a sacrifice of praise. Alleluia! Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Alleluia, Alleluia. A Holy Gospel. This is a Holy Gospel according to Mark. The Pharisees came forward and began to argue with Jesus, seeking from him a sign from heaven to test him. He sighed from the depths of his spirit and said, Why does this generation seek a sign? Amen, I say to you, no sign will be given to this generation. Then he left them, got into the boat again, and went off to the other shore. A Gospel of the Lord May through the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross and the prayers of Our Lady, we will all be freed from the curse, filled with joy, love, and receive the blessings of Abraham, which God blessed in all things. Exaltation, healed, the ability to endure suffering and still bear fruit, prosperity, victory, humility, and favor of God. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Dear brothers and sisters, those are the readings for today. We hope you enjoy it and see you again tomorrow from Weird Traveling with Jesus. Goodbye.